please make sure that you're performing any synthetic or load tests against a website you have control over. I'm using commit quality because this is mine, but please don't use this one because it won't handle the load. Make sure you have authorization for whatever you're testing when you're looking to perform this kind of load and performance testing. Thank you and enjoy the video. This is Jared from commit quality. And this video, we're going to go over phases used in artillery with our playwright test scripts. So at the moment, when we've executed our artillery tests, if we've had this phase started of unnamed because we haven't specified any phases in our artillery config file. This has just had one V user, so it's like a synthetic test and it's not really much going on with this. There's no real load testing happening. But I want to break down the phases in artillery and how we can use them to build up our load testing script. So there's four kind of load phases that are supported. I'm going to go through all of them in this video. First is a phase with a duration and a constant arrival rate, which is basically an arrival rate of a number of new V users per second. Uh, there's an, then another phase, which is a linear ramp up phase, which is where the number of new arrivals increases linearly over time. You then have a phase that generates a fixed count of new arrivals over a period of time that you give. And then you have the fourth phase, which is a pause phase, which basically generates no users, no virtual users for a duration of time, which is basically just like a sleep to give the system a bit of the rest. Now, what I want to do is inside this artillery YAML, let's clear this down on the terminal. I want to start adding the phases to go through. So what I'm going to do is underneath processor, I'm going to say phases. And I'm going to add some comments as well, just so it makes a bit more sense. So the first one we'll go through is inject one user every second for 10 seconds. And this is going to be the constant arrival. So I can give it a name. So I can say name and so I'll say constant arrival. And we want to say then one user every 10 seconds, like I put in this comment here. So to do that, I can say duration is 10 seconds. So it's going to last 10 seconds and every 10 seconds we want to have an arrival rate of one. Perfect. So like it says on there, just one user every 10 seconds. If I now execute my artillery script, you can see constant arrival is going to last 10 seconds. There were two users created there, but when you go down, we should see 10 because every second for 10 seconds, we're increasing the virtual user. So here we are, we go to V users completed. You've got 10, there was 10 created and no failed. Perfect, just a nice simple one going on there. The next one I want to touch on is the pause phase. So let's say pause. And what you'll see as well is you can use as many phases as you want. So what's going to happen is you're building this up. You might have a phase where you're increasing users every second for 10 seconds, and then you're going to pause for a bit, then you're going to do something else and you keep adding the phases into whatever you want. So for this pause one, it's just nice and easy. All we're going to say is pause. And we'll give a pause for five seconds. Won't really do much in this case because it is literally like the last thing, so it's ending off anyway. But what you should see is we should have two phases. Of course, I want to give it a name as well. So I say name, pause. If I run this, oh, it's because that's off as well. The AML's not going to like that at all. So let's put that back. Let's clear this down because it looks a bit messy. Let's rerun that. And here now you've got your constant arrival, which is doing that uh, virtual user every second for 10 seconds. And then once this is done, we should see the pause phase. But like I said, because it's the end, it's not really gonna do anything anyway. But there you are, you've got this phase of pause, which is just adding a five second delay into things. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that down to one second just to make it a lot easier while we go on to the next phase, which is going to be our ramp up phase, which we just discussed. And this is basically going to ramp up the arrival rate of virtual users for a given period of time. So let's just write it out and then we'll talk about it. So I'm going to say duration can be 10 seconds. Arrival rate can be, let's just put it as one because we don't want it to go crazy. And we'll say ramp to a given number of users. So we'll say 15. So what is this actually doing then? This is gonna ramp up the arrival rate of virtual users from one to 15 over a 10 second period. So if I run this script now then, we should see three phases are gonna do. We're gonna do your constant arrival, then you're gonna pause, and then we're gonna do this ramp up one. Well, of course, I forgot the name again. 
So I'm going to say name ramp up and make sure your indexing is correct. So that's how we want it. So we're going through a constant arrival phase first, which I just noticed there was a typo, but it doesn't matter because you can name it what you want. We then got the pause and then we've got the ramp up, which is like, is it going to ramp from one to 15 in 10 seconds in a 10 second duration? Yeah, there we are. Because the website couldn't handle the load, we start to see some errors. So I'm going to close this off a minute. And I'm actually going to... I'm going to comment these ones out. I'm just going to do ramp up and how we're going to ramp up just to five. Because I don't want to destroy the website. And that's one thing I mentioned in the video as well. If you're doing this load testing, please don't perform it against my website. Please make sure you're doing it against the website you have control over and authorization to actually load test against. And then we are. So that works. So what we said is every second ramp to five over the duration of 10 seconds. And the last thing I want to show you then is the fixed arrival. So I say fixed arrival, where we can say create a number of virtual users in a given time. So I can say name fixed and duration, let's say 10 with an arrival count of uh so well we'll go 15 and of course this needs to be there make sure indentation is correct so so we're saying create 15 virtual users in a 10 second duration let's run this And there we are. We've got our virtual users here. And if we actually just look through things, you're now starting to see the difference where our minimum virtual, the minimum we took was 167.3. The max was 190. And now you're seeing a difference in the mean and medium, but also the P95 and P99. Like I said, because we haven't got a huge amount of users, you're not seeing a real difference there, but you're starting to see the metrics for those that we discussed in our last video. And that's what I wanted to go through on phases. This is how now you can start ramping things up. But like I said, please use this on something you have control of. If you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. I've also enabled super thanks so if you do want to contribute to these videos and the running of my website you can definitely do through it that way as always thank you for watching have a good day